Hi, my name is Cameron Allman, Operations Coordinator at Sweetwater, Texas, Seamaning Division. Today we're going to go over proper winterization of our Patriot and Legacy pump trucks. Winterization of oil filled seamaning equipment is key to successfully operating in the cold weather months. Failure to properly winterize will lead to MPT spent thawing and possible long term damage to equipment from the expansion of freezing water. More importantly, if process and procedure is not correctly followed, the potential for personal injury is dramatically increased. Following the steps laid out in this instructional video will ensure you success in the field. Follow me as we start with the legacy. At this point, we've sent all of our water back to the frack tank. We're completely rigged down. We're ready to drain and fan the pump. Any suction with a cap on it needs to be removed before starting this process. We're gonna start off with our centrifugals. We'll get driver's side water pump. Come around. Get our driver's side boost pump. Coming around the back. We got our two inch downhole valves. Our prime up line release valve. Passenger side boost pump. And our passenger side water pump. Not all trucks have a belly dump on an air actuator. It's real convenient when they do. Now we're ready to go upstairs and open up all of our air actuated valves. You want to make sure your one inches are open. Open up your outside triplex sections, all of your interior and exterior valves. All of your valves in your mixing system. You want to drain up your red hose. I like to do this by throwing it off the side of the pump. your displacement tank handles, and your mud line. Now that you've got all the valves open on the pump truck, ball valves, you wanna leave cracked at half so no water gets behind the valve. And we're gonna go ahead and start fanning. You wanna engage all of your centrifugals. Put your pumps in fourth gear. Stair step them up to 1600 RPMs. Now we're ready to go down and make sure everything's draining properly. This process may take some time, but you're not complete until no water is coming out of your pumps or your centrifugals. So you verified water is no longer coming out of your triplex pumps or your centrifugals. You want to go ahead and idle down. Bring your pumps to neutral. And turn off your centrifugals. No interest. Now we're over here on a Patriot. You've pushed all your water back. Your suction caps are removed. You're gonna start off, get your water pump, 
directly underneath. Come around, get your prime up line dump. Your two inch downhole valves. Your recirculator boost centrifugal. And your downhole boost centrifugal. Now we're ready to go up top and open all the air actuated valves. You always want to verify your one inches are open. We'll start off by draping the red hose off the side of the pump. Let it drain. We'll open all of our valves on our mixing system. Make sure you crack them back to half so no water gets behind them. Come over here, we'll open all of our interior and exterior air actuated valves. Your displacement valves. Now we're ready to start fanning the pumps. You want to start off engaging your centrifugals. Patriots have a pony motor that runs the auxiliary hydraulics and I idle it up to 1600. Go ahead and drop our triplex pumps into gear. Going for fourth gear. Both pumps. Go ahead and stair step our deck motors up to 1600. Legacies, you want to continue this process until no more water is coming out of your triplex pump or your centrifugal. Even a slow dribble will leave you frozen. confident you winterized the truck properly on your last job. We're on our next job. The rig's about an hour out. We're going to go ahead and fire up the pump truck, get everything warming up. When you go to engage your centrifugals, you want to watch your hydraulic pressures and bump them just very slightly. If your gauge is peg out, you've got an ice obstruction, and you don't want to break the keyway by just racking them out and drop the rip. Once you don't have any obstruction, your hydraulics aren't pegging out, you leave them just roll, rolling steady, slow rate at idle. We'll go ahead, drop our pumps into gear. First gear at an idle. First gear at an idle. We'll turn on our paddles. 
Now that we've got all the fluids warming up on the pump truck, we'll come over here. You always want to leave your water knife and your cement knife in the open position, but you also want to function them and make sure that everything's flowing free here while you have the time. Now that we verified that everything's warming up, everything's clear, we'll wait, bring water on the truck. At this point, the rig's ready to go. We're 100% rigged up and ready to start the cement job. Our two inches are shut, our one inches are open. We've already started flooding the system. Now we're gonna start pulling water on. Pick on our water pump. Verify that we can pull water to our cement system. Come over, make sure we can pull water to our mixing truck. Now that we can pull water on, go ahead and turn on our recirculator pump. Make sure everything's clear there. As is always the case, when you start to prime up, before you kick a triplex pump in gear, you want to make certain that you have flow through your release line and it's free of obstruction. Do this, kick on our, our boost pump, start sending water back around. Here, make sure that you can go through either side of your triplex pump. The moment you verify that you can go through both sides of your triplex pump is when you can kick a pump in gear. If you kick a pump in gear before you verify that it's clear, you'll pressure up the system so you'll have no way to release it. If you're not clear, you need to drain, fan, start knocking loose to diagnose your obstruction. Start with your one inches. Now we're ready to finish priming up. Take our pump from here. Temperatures were close to or below freezing when you rigged up on location. Put you a T and valve in line. In the instance that you were shut down for an extended period of time on a multi-stage job, you'd want to be able to clear your iron as well as be able to fan your pumps without knocking anything loose. If you're shut down for a short period of time, shut your two inches, roll your centrifugals, roll your triplex pumps back through, and that would suffice. In an extended period of time, your supervisor's got the iron knocked loose from the cement head, He's got it secured in the mouse hole, and all, all rig hands are off the rig floor. I'm gonna go ahead, we'll open up our one inch valve here. Got no pressure on the pots, compressor is engaged, pots open, bleed off's open. Go ahead and ease into it. Now our iron's clear to the rig floor. We've drained and fanned our pump. We're ready to start the second stage. Now that we've covered process and procedure of winterizing your pump truck, it is important to slow down the plant as there is no room for air. Confirm with the company man where the pump can be drained as it has to be dumped on the ground. It is nine energy policy that no fluids leave the well site. Depending on the size of the rig up and temperature, draining and fanning may need to be done prior to rig down. You'll need to open all air actuated and manual valves. If water does not come out of all drain points, clear the obstruction before proceeding. Once you have visually verified everything is draining properly, you can begin the fanning process. Remember, centrifugals and triplex pumps need to be ran until there is no more water coming out of the drain points. 
Air tanks on pumps and tractors need to be checked and drained of all water as well. It is also imperative to drain and fan auxiliary boost trailers on location. Keep in mind, backup pumps need to be 100% tied in, warmed up, and ready, but only need to be primed in the event you must swap. Even in the heat of the moment, all winter prime up procedures must be followed. By now, I hope to have conveyed how vital correct pump winterization is to operate efficiently in cold weather. If you have any questions pertaining to anything covered in this training video, please reach out to your district QAQC, field supervisor, or coordinator. I'm Cameron Allman. Stay safe this winter.